Now let me elaborate about relationships. First of all, there is no ownership in this. You know, your partner is not property. So you shouldn't be trying to present yourself as if you own your partner. You need to let them live, give them their privacy, give them their space. Going through their phone is not going to do anything but show loud insecurity. And let me tell you about insecurity. Insecurity is not sexy. There's nothing sexy about insecurity. It, I, I feel like if you have to check someone's phone, if you feel like you can't trust that person, there's no need to be in a relationship. You know, another thing about it, I feel like you're causing dysfunction to yourself just by trying to play inspect the gadget private eye whatever you want to call it you know you're causing dysfunction to yourself because what you're doing is looking for something looking for a reason to end the relationship or to be unhappy you know if you say that you want to be with someone and your heart is set on being with them forever you want everything to go good you're not looking for things to go bad you're not hoping for things to go bad you know it's fine that you know things happen in life and the unexpected occurs or the expected if you want to call cheating expected because most people do it that's fine that this is normal but if you're trying to make something happen you're trying to make it work you're not looking for something bad you know you're not looking for infidelity you're not looking for reasons to distrust that person you want every reason to trust that person so putting them through all these tests and constantly accusing them of cheating and looking for a reason to snoop around on them is causing dysfunction and difficulty to your relationship what's gonna happen if you do happen to find that your mate is flirting with other people cheating with other people having sex what are you gonna do are you gonna leave or are you just gonna be mad and unhappy with your relationship? Think about what you're causing to yourself. There's no reason to be snooping around in someone else's privacy. Yes, you two are in a, a relationship together, but that does not mean that you own that person. That, is that, that does not mean that that person has no free will to speak to other people and have friends of the opposite sex. You should be able to know your partner and know what they're capable of and what they're not capable of based on their behavior. Study their pattern. You don't have to study their phone. You don't have to check up on every person of the opposite sex that they're speaking with. You know, when people are doing disloyal things, people are up to no good, it's going to come out. You know, it'll expose itself. You do not have to go looking for it. Because when you look for things, you find things. And hopefully if you find what you were looking for, you were happy. And I'm going to leave you with that.